Hi guys, Neil here with uh, my second Imperial Navy video for Battlefleet Gothic. So today I'm carrying on from the last one, going through my Imperial Navy cruisers. And I've got quite a lot more than the two Lunars now than, that I showed you in the last one. So to start off, this is my Tyrant Car class cruiser. <coughs> this is a sort of specific gunboat and it in in terms of weaponry it has six prow torpedoes and then on each side it has a strength six thirty centimeter weapons battery and then a strength four forty five centimeter weapons battery which is quite useful as the majority of Imperial Navy weapons is, are thirty centimeters for the Sort of the workhorses, which are the cruisers, so having the 45 centimeter gives that sort of little bit extra coverage for the cruiser group. So this is the yeah the first one. Um, all of the cruisers I'm going to show you today all have eight hull points. Uh, can make 45 degree turns, have a speed of 20 centimeters, have two shields and two turrets. Have six plus prow armor and five plus armor around the rest of it. So yes, so this is the first one, which is the tyrant one. My second one is my uh, gothic class. So whereas the tyrant was a gunboat, this is sort of all all about the lances. So it's got six. Prow torpedoes like the Tyrant, as it says, ship of the line. And on each side it has four lances. So lances are very different to weapons batteries. When you fire weapons batteries, you have a, there's a special chart that you use that depends on the position or the relative position of the ship you're firing on um, to sort of gen see how many shots you actually get as you sort of blanket the area in gunfire. Whereas lances are more sort of aimed at energy blasts from the the turrets, so you, you're with a strength four battery, you always get to roll four dice for how many hits. And with with the weapons batteries, as on the tyrant, you're rolling to beat the armor of the opposing ship. So it's five plus. You need to roll fives or sixes. Whereas with lances, you always hit on a 4 or 5 or a 6 so they're sort of a bit better against the more heavily armoured ships like closing Imperial Navy ships and Space Marines and Necrons and things like that so this is yeah. So this is my Gothic class and then moving on to my Dictator class so the Dictator is not a ship of the line so it doesn't have prow torpedoes it instead has a prow Nova Cannon which is a deadly weapon when it hits. So the Nova Cannon uses a sort of slightly smaller blast template than the small blast template. Um, and anything that's caught under it suffers one automatic hit without having to sort of roll against the armor. But anything that's under the hole in the center takes d6 automatic hits. So I've used it to great effect against uh, some Chaos Cruisers um, and Eldar and Dark Elder, even though they get their two up save, if they fail it, um, it can easily destroy a cruiser and is more than likely to cripple it. So that's the Prow Nova Cannon, which I, which I really like having at least one of in my fleet, just, just because they scare people more than anything. And then along each side, it has strength 12 weapons batteries with a 30 centimeter range making it sort of a reasonable gunboat when the enemy close with it to within sort of within the minimum distance for the Nova Cannon because it has a sort of minimum range like artillery in Warhammer 40k so that's the Dictator so as I said they're all similar in stat they all have the 8 Hull points, 45 degree turns, two shields, two turrets, six plus front, five plus side and rear armor. 
and yeah so these are my four well the three cruises I'm showing you today rather than four I don't know where I got four from so yeah so look out soon for another Imperial Navy video uh, along with uh, some new stuff soon and uh, yeah just thanks for watching and subscribing and hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.